Hi, I'm Dr. Boschnik, and many of you have gone to doctors and had uh, corneal topographies done, and you've seen the uh, charts, and you don't know what you're looking at. And I just want to explain a few things about uh, corneal topography. Basically, it's an outline of what has to be done to take care of your vision and restore your vision. Uh, this is like an architectural plan that a builder would use to have an idea how to build a house on a piece of land. Um, what we're looking at here are different curvatures and, and uh, contours. This particular patient uh, underwent RK surgery as well as LASIK surgery. And what we're seeing here where you see the blue are depressed areas of the cornea. The darker blue means the further the depression. Where you see red is where you have an outpuckering uh, of the cornea. So this particular cornea, instead of being like this, nice and smooth, would be in like here. Uh, and highly distorted. The same thing over here. Here you have a smattering of blue areas, depressed areas, and elevated areas right next to each other in very, very close proximity. In addition, when, we, when the topography is done, you're looking at these rings should be perfectly round, reflecting off the cornea back into the computer. You can see how these rings are distorted. This is the right ring, and you can see the left ring. There's no way a pair of glasses will give this patient quality vision, nor will a pair of soft lenses. Uh, regular hard lenses are going to be bouncing around this cornea and it'll be very irritating. So the patient may be able to wear the lenses for about five or ten minutes and then they won't be able to wear them anymore. And this particular patient is wearing gas permeable scleral lenses and she has 20-20 vision now uh, for the first time in uh, maybe 20 years. And uh, that's basically on this particular patient.